What up, YouTube? It's Mark here from Georgia Vaping again. Uh, today we're going to do the little build on a uh, coil I mentioned recently. Um, Calling the Big Dripper. Just wanted to give you a close up of what the final kind of look like first. And then we'll get into the build. So let me zoom this in real quick and I will show you. So let's see here. This is what the coil should look like when it's done. There we go. Now we'll just give it a little fire here. Yeah. See how that's all one. So, all right. Well, stay tuned. We'll get a little bit closer up into the build there. All right. Let's start it. Okay, YouTube. Um, in front of you, kind of see what we got going on for what we're gonna need for this build. Um. A little home checker, got a little IGO W cap on there, got some wire snips, some little needle nose pliers, I'm using 24 gauge today, wow that is really washed out, apparently I got my lighting working now, got 24 gauge, taking roughly a, I don't know, probably 8 to 10 inches of this. So go ahead and pre-cut it. Uh, we're going to be using a couple screwdrivers here. We're going to be using this flathead, which is a medium-sized flathead, for the small coil. And we're going to be using the biggest fill-up head for the biggest coil. And, you know, just some scissors and cotton. So we can wick it here in a minute. Alright, so this will be the first time I've ever built a coil on camera. I'm going to try to do it at a side angle. I don't know how well this is going to work for y'all. But we're just going to do three wraps on the biggest screwdriver. So I'm sure y'all have seen plenty of videos, but you're just going to pinch it here. And we're just going to do three wraps, trying to keep them as close as possible. Three, come back over. Okay, that is really hard to do on camera, by the way. All right, we're gonna pinch it down. You can see here, I'm just pinching down. All right, well, as you can see here, we've got three wraps. Mm -hmm. That should turn autofocus back on. I was trying to do it without autofocus to see if we can get a little better look here, but autofocus will probably help right there. There you go. They're not the most beautiful things right now. Um, we will definitely be fixing that. First and foremost, we're going to take this first wrap off. I always do the first wrap. I remove it and retighten. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but yeah, so. This is probably the ugliest coal I've ever made. Anyway, but once we get that done, what we want to do now, you can see we just have a three wrap coil. You're going to take your next screwdriver, run it through the back side. Okay. And we want to pinch that down so we can start our next wraps. So let's hold this down and then we're going to do four wraps. On the micro coil. And then we're going to try to pinch all this down again. Okay, so that's um, it's pretty ugly, but you can kind of see what's going on here now. Let's see if I can't get a better angle on it there. But we have two different size coils. All we're gonna do with this, uh, apparently didn't need as much wire, so I'm just gonna cut some of this off now. And we got a lead on each side. We are going to take a little coal and bend it back off. So 
take this screwdriver here. And we're just going to bend this coil back. Let me see, I'm trying to get a better angle on this camera where I can possibly get this done on the camera for y'all. There we go. So we're going to take this screwdriver and just bend this back. Apparently is easier said than done on camera. All right, we're gonna clean this up once we get it on, but you can see how it's bent back a little bit. So, what we need to do, get these leads straightened up a little bit. That said, let's try to get this zoom on to a right, good W here. I'm gonna bring y'all down. Bear with me. Okay, we are back. Uh, I have just placed the smaller coal back in the screwdriver. I kind of got the leads facing the same way. This is gonna be a little reversed on camera. I'm gonna try my best here, but. Um, Let's see if I can do it on camera. What you want to do is run the big coil through positive post and the micro coil through the negative. Just going to take a little bit of finesse here. This is uh, no lie, a lot harder on camera, by the way. So now that I got those in there, I'm going to try to get the screwdriver out just so I can get things set up. And we'll do a slight tighten down. I don't want to get them too tight because they're not where they need to be. I don't want them slipping out. Let's see. Kind of see how that's... Uh, Get better zoomed in here. There you go. So what we ideally want this micro coil to be up and parallel with Diego, and this one to be slightly tilted. So we're just gonna adjust that by pinching and moving with screwdrivers. So, I said this is pretty hard to do on camera. I'm going to try my best here, guys. I'll take this. Just kind of rotate it. There we go. Autofocus is awful. Awful thing when you're building coals. Don't use autofocus bad all right see how it's getting better there problem is I need to loosen up this lead and push it back now Okay, I got the positive one pretty good. Let's move this oh negative back some. Alright, tighten them down. I'll give you a closer look here. As you can see.
Negative one up here, micro coil. All right, so let me get this thrown on the mod. We'll uh, show you how to pinch it up, and get it looking a little bit better. All right, just gonna bend these leads up right now. I think they're gonna be good. I'm not gonna cut them just yet. Uh, let's, uh, let's fire it all. What we wanna do is pinch these now. Fire it off. Pinch it. Looks like uh, my posts aren't tight. Things kind of wiggling around still, so get a little bit tighter here. All right, let's. There we go. Pinch it. Fire. Pinch it. Right, let's give everything one little quick tighten down and cut off the leads. I'm uh, pretty sure that's going to work. Give her a fire. Looking pretty good. Uh, all there's left to do is wick it now. Oh, let me lock it. Okay, so you're just gonna take your cotton here and get you out a nice little thin wig that can go into the micro coil. Just take this little piece, like so. I'm just gonna twist her up. All right. What you wanna do is run that through your micro coil, like so. Okay. Give it a twist on both sides so you can get it in there where it's nice and snug. I like so. All right, now what you wanna do is cut this off. So you don't wanna hold on on that side. And cut this off because you're just gonna wrap a little bit over here. All right. I'm going to take this and drop her down inside. Pull it back up some. Okay. Let's see if y'all can see that. All right, we're just going to finish off by taking another little strip here. Okay, I'll say it long. That might be a little too much. Let's, uh, let's pull another little layer off. And wrap this up. What I like to do with this one, you can even do this just doing a cloud, but I like to take it, place it right between those coils there. Take this and tuck it underneath. Okay. And we're going to fold this one up over it. And this one back around and underneath. Okay. Now this part is very important. Underneath this micro coil, we don't want any of that. So, we need to have a good airflow right under that micro. You see how I just cut that so it didn't make it over there? I'll just tuck this wick. Tuck the wick. And cut off this side as well. Just tuck the wick. And tuck. 
talk the way around this post here. Okay. Oh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of wick in here. It's a nice little airflow channel that goes under the micro. And we do need to come back and open up the hole. around our dragon as you can see alright well let's put some juice on her give her a little vape what juice do I want to use on that today yeah I just made this margarita flavor up so I'll take it and just douse all this crazy amount of wig that's in here See, hold some juice. Okay. Take my little She hits good. Do a little quick um reading on it since I somehow skipped that part. The batteries are pretty low on my reader, so I can't guarantee you'll be able to see it anyway. Uh, we got a .55 on that. Yeah. Just in case people are freaking out and thinking it's not the same one. There you go. And that's the big dripper. Um, post, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you got any questions. Hope this works out for you. Like I said, I can get four or five apes off this, maybe even more. It holds a whole lot of liquid. Just kind of wanted to give you a quick vape on it. I want to make sure that you can see it's the one we just built. There you go. See, pretty good. It's the one we just did. What you want to do is line the air up right with that hole under the micro. Get this autofocus back on to catch up. All right. That's with a dead battery. I mean, I've been using this battery all day long. Let me just uh, snag a new one here. Let's see what it does with a new battery. All right. I mean, there you go. It's a great coal. It's uh, a little difficult to build, but it's worth it, man. Give it a shot. Let me know if you need help. Thanks.